Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Station Master. What a joke. Uh, what was that? This technological marvel is currently the only one of its kind. Then we'll go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. No, nope. won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Such city in the clouds will be Moscow too. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station monster has it. Which will soar above he didn't us make it. in just ten years. As fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Comrade. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. We're now he died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. This is Icarus. The world's first autonomous aerial urban. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master, find him. Find him. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. The talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. And the next, enjoy They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. We are ready to depart. 10, 
to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that.
That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Stop. What a nice trip.
Saving data. Laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. You're back! What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Look, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Ugh, just give me laser protection! Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you or tear you apart? You'd really kill me over a stupid glove, sugar? How would you survive in this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall.
hurt! That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor when I get... Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be such enough, Sky. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor? are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Victor, save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey! Freeze! Warning! Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Got nothing to be scared of. You're dead. 
I know. Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me. I'm scared of them. Scared of what? The robots? No. Robots kill quickly and simply. But they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. Think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. So... Do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like... an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on that cases, metallic or otherwise. Mm-hmm. 